Hello guys, I hope that you're all well. My name's Lucy, welcome back to my channel. So if you didn't know already, I wear Invisalign braces. They are on my teeth right now. So if you've never heard of Invisalign before, they are a clear brace that looks a little bit like this. I'm not gonna go too close because I've just had this in my mouth, so it's a bit skanky. It's a clear plastic brace that is molded exactly to your teeth and every week you change to a new brace. Some people do it fortnightly, I do it weekly. You change to a new brace that's in a slightly different position, so it's eventually gonna move your teeth into the position that you'd like them in. I've still got quite a long way to go in my Invisalign journey. I'm on tray 12, and I've got 38 trays altogether, but I feel like by now I've got the gist of it, and I've got the pros and cons of it pretty clued up. So I thought I'd share with you today eight things I wish I knew before I got Invisalign. So number one is pain. So I obviously expected it to hurt, um, but I only really expected it to hurt for like a day when I first got the brace. And then I thought that my teeth would get used to moving really quickly, but it turns out that my teeth are really, really sensitive, a lot more sensitive than I thought they were. And because they need so much movement, they are in pain quite a lot of the time. Because I change my weekly, mine are basically constantly on the move. So the first three or four days that I put a new set in, my teeth ache quite a lot. It's quite hard to eat very hard or chewy things. Um, and they even hurt to brush quite a lot, which is a bit annoying. Other people that go through Invisalign don't seem to have as much pain, so I do think that it's maybe my teeth and that the fact that they are quite sensitive, I don't really know. But anyway, the first three or four days of my new set always hurt quite a lot, and then I have a few days of pain-free, and then I put in a new set and I have another few days of being in pain. But I guess that's because my teeth are moving quite a lot and I've noticed a lot of change already, so I suppose hurting is better than not doing anything, right? Number two, also related to pain, is the fact that the braces can rub your mouth. So I didn't really realise this before, I've watched a lot of videos on Invisalign but not a lot of people have mentioned this, but they can be really sharp, the plastic around the edges on your gums can be really really sharp and sometimes it doesn't quite fit to your mouth as you'd want it to. It fits your teeth well but sometimes it rubs in different places, not so much along your gum line but more like on your inner lip. So I constantly have ulcers, I always have Bongella or Igloo with me because I find that I need it all the time. People have said you can file down the braces, I'm a little bit apprehensive to do that. I I've thought about doing it before, but I just think I would probably make it worse if I'm gonna file it. It would just make it sharper, I think. So yeah, I would probably not file them if you can, or maybe check with your dentist and see what they say. But yeah, I haven't filed mine. I've just kind of put up with the discomfort. And it's not like it on every tray. It seems to be just random ones. So number three is attachments. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of a close up and see if you can see better. I have attachments. Here, look, this one's a good one. I've got attachments on my teeth and all along the bottom as well. So before I got Invisalign, I knew one girl that had had them and she had attachments, but there was like, she had a tiny one here and a tiny one there and that was it. I have got tons and I had no idea that they would feel the way they do. They literally feel like you've got stones in your mouth. Um, they don't feel like that all the time, which is great. When you've got the brace in, I don't notice them at all. Like. My teeth feel a little bit bobbly, but I've got used to them. But when my brace is out, they feel horrific, which is probably a good thing because it makes me want to put my brace straight back in. But yeah, they just feel like you've got stones in your mouth when you eat, all the food feels like it's stuck around them. It's just not really that nice. I know quite a few people that have had attachments and have been a bit unhappy about them because obviously you go for Invisalign because you want them to be discreet and you don't want people to see them. And the attachments do make them more visible, but I don't really, I'm not really like self-conscious about mine at all. My teeth have moved so much that I feel more confident in my smile anyway. So the attachments don't really bother me and I know that they're gonna be gone in like a year's time anyway. But I just wanted to mention them so that if you're thinking about getting Invisalign, you're aware of them because I know a lot of people aren't aware of them. Not everybody has to have attachments, but they are there for a reason. If you do have them, they're to help the brace grip onto your teeth to help move them easier. So number four is the no snacking. So I knew that I wouldn't be able to eat as much as I was eating when I got Invisalign, but the no snacking thing sucks. Like, like especially like right now, I've had breakfast a couple of hours ago. It's not quite lunchtime yet. I really fancy a snack, but do I wanna go downstairs, have the snack whilst my brace flat is out? 
then go and pick it all out my teeth and brush my teeth, brush my brace, put it back in. It's just not really worth the effort, is it? So yeah, I'm really missing snacking a lot more than I thought I would. Number five is that I cannot go anywhere without a bag. So obviously if I'm popping to a shop or whatever, I can go without a bag, it's fine. But most of the time I can't go anywhere without taking a bag because I have to take a little kit with me. I've done a video on what I take out and about with me, I'll pop it below. But I have a kit with like mouthwash, toothbrush, toothpaste, all of that stuff. So if I don't have that with me and I'm going to have like a cup of tea or a hot chocolate or anything other than water, um, lunch food, I need to brush my teeth afterwards. So I can't go out without these essential items, which is a little bit annoying, especially when I'm on like a night out and I just want to take like a little clutch bag because you can't always fit everything in that bag and there's nothing worse than putting a brace back in when you haven't cleaned your teeth uh, I that's just a massive no-no for me so number six is teeth filing <laughs> if you follow me on instagram you might have heard a little bit about this because i've done a couple of posts about the fact I had to have my teeth filed. I didn't really know until I'd got quite far into the Invisalign process um, before I'd paid and got my trays and stuff that I would need teeth filing and I just didn't really think about what that meant. So basically they put a file between your teeth and pull it through. That doesn't hurt as such, it just feels gross and it sounds gross, it's like Okay, that's an awful, awful description. It's literally like pulling like a flexible saw through your teeth um which is gross it's to create room for your teeth to move and I also had to have some quite intensive electric filing on my bottom teeth so there's quite a big gap at the bottom um and that was excruciatingly painful and I cried and I hated it obviously all the benefits of Invisalign outweigh these things by the way but yeah I really hate the teeth filing so I kind of dread every appointment I go to in case he tells me he needs to file off a little bit more so number seven is that the braces are quite hard to get out. I thought that it would be really easy and that you would just put them in and just pull them out and that would be it. But because of the attachments on there, your brace is quite very fitted to your teeth. And I do find them quite difficult to get out, um, which is a little bit annoying because it makes it quite a non-discreet process. So if I'm at a restaurant, I can't really just take them out at, at the table. I'd have to go to the toilet and take them out, which is a little bit annoying because it's kind of like I'm sat there like yanking them out and you can hear it clip out and I'm like and yeah it's all a little bit gross so yeah they're not as easy to get out as I thought they would be and number eight and my final thing that I wish I knew before I got Invisalign is how bad my morning breath can be I'm sorry if that's too much information but oh my god these things get stinky so the first thing I do when I wake up is rush downstairs rinse my mouth out brush my teeth brush my braces like twice I also clean my braces with retainer bright just to get it all fresh again but yeah my breath in the morning is not nice so those are the things that I wish I knew before I got Invisalign I'm obviously making this video for people who are considering Invisalign or maybe at the beginning of their Invisalign journey just to give you a little bit more of an insight of what you're in for I completely completely 100% do not regret my decision of getting Invisalign I'm so happy with the results so far so don't let this put you off I just want you to be in the know thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time bye